Hello, welcome to Accounting 212. This video is designed just to give you some pointers about um, how the class is structured and what the really important things are to make sure you're doing and staying on top of. So first thing I'd encourage you to do is go look at Meet the Professor in uh, the Start Here tab um, in, the, you know, in this Blackboard class shell. Um, here you can put a name with a face and get contact information about me. Review the syllabus. Make sure you understand how the syllabus is structured. There's going to be a place where I ask you to tell me that you have reviewed it and understand it for a grade. Also, grades in the class are um, points, not percent. So a thing that I think is important will have a lot of points, but don't sit there thinking, well, I can just skip something and the percents will come out okay. Uh, look e at, at each case at how many points an item is worth and um, how many points you need to get the grade you want in, in the class. So, in our class, here's what the grades come from. The midterm exam is worth 2,750 points. The final exam is worth 2,750 points. The Connect homework, which is um, a weekly assignment, uh, or I should say it's a chapter by chapter assignment, sometimes there's two of them in a week, add up to 1,200 points. Then there's another 100 for introducing yourself to the class, something I ask you to do on a discussion board in the first week. And there's another 100 by getting on a discussion board and saying you agree to be you know, held to the syllabus and that you understand it. So of course you're not supposed to sign that if you don't agree or you don't understand, but rather you should talk to me and make sure we have an, you know, an agreement and understanding about how the syllabus worked and then eventually you, know, you sign um, the discussion board comment telling me that you understand. When I say sign, I just mean you make a discussion board post. You don't have to write anything. There's a course project in here. Um, I think you'll find it interesting. The project has four, um, not quite weekly requirements, but four periodic requirements, each one worth 500 points. The total project worth 2,000. Blogs um, are done in every learning unit and they're worth 1,100 points. There's also extra credit in Connect. So uh, 100 points per chapter come from doing something called a Learn Smart in Connect. And then there's the opportunity, it's not required, but if you have the time, there's also something called pre-built problems in each chapter that are worth another 100 points. Here's the grading scale for the class. If you earn 9,000 to 10,000 points, you receive an A in the class. You've earned it. If you receive 8,000 to 8,999 points, you've earned a B. If you receive 7,000 to 7,999 points, you earn a C. If you earn 6,000 to 6,999 points, you earn a D. And if you earn less than 6,000 points, unfortunately, you fail the class. Here's some weekly things to keep track of and not let, you know, get away from you. The class is fast paced, as you know, it, it ends in 10 weeks rather than 16. First, read the chapters. Then, do the homework. The assigned homework is a Learn Smart in Connect. Do the blog. These blogs are not um, uninvolved either. They're not the kind of blog where you get in there and say, amen, brother, or I agree, or yes, or no. Uh, you'll see a rubric for each blog, and normally the blog will require you to write several paragraphs. You'll understand accounting a lot better. It'll help you with the problem parts of the test, but um, do take those seriously. Each of them are worth 100 points. Keep up with the project. Again, it's not quite a weekly requirement. It's roughly after about the first six or seven weeks the project is due. If there's time, go ahead and do the extra credit. Um, it's not required, but if there's time at the end of the week, go ahead and do it. 
There are two exams, each of them very highly weighted as you, you learned earlier. Uh, the midterm covers chapters 13 through 17 and you're tested between January 20th and January 27th, which are both Saturdays. The final exam, um, you're tested on chapters 18 through 24. Neither test is cumulative. And this test runs from Saturday, July 25th to Saturday, August 1st. Now, when I say it runs that long, the test takes about two hours. That's how long you have to do it. But you have a window so that you can um, work, um, if you're out of town, you know, schedule the exam around those things. And you'll either come into a testing center or you'll do the test by remote proctoring. You can't have an unproctored test, but we will talk about how, uh, or w watch for data about how to take the test um, at no charge by a remote proctor. Um, you can do that if you want, or you can come into a testing center. Here's some extra information. I'm offering a study hall for both Accounting 211 and Accounting 212. These are on Monday nights, beginning on June 1st. They're in room 205, C building, on the Portsmouth campus of TCC. I'll be there in that room from 5.15 until 6.45 p.m. I have another class coming in at 7, so we'll end promptly at 6.45. But you don't have to come in. You can just come for any reason. If you have um, questions about how to operate Blackboard, you can come in for that reason. If you have questions about the material itself, you can come in. I'll be there, whether any students are there or not. Um, here's contact information for me. You can reach me at wconner at tcc.edu. You can call my cell phone or text me on my cell phone, 757-287-7829. Or you can call the office, 757-822-2315. Here's a note about how I use discussion boards. For the most part, discussion boards are for you to ask questions. So you'll notice there is one board called Quiet Side of the Asteroid, and this is where people ask me general questions. This is where if you don't understand the syllabus before you sign it, or before you do the discussion board saying you do, ask me questions about it. Um, if you ever have a question about, you know, can you do something late, or what's going to happen because of this or that, or or you can ask them over, over the quiet side of the asteroid general discussion board. If you have particular content questions about the chapter, about things you don't understand in a chapter, there's a discussion board forum for each chapter. Put it in that chapter's discussion board forum. And I would encourage you to check and see what others have asked questions about in there. There are two discussion boards that you're graded on. One is class introductions, so sometime within this first week of class, introduce yourself to your classmates. That way I won't drop you for them the course. Also, you get 100 points. And then, hopefully during this first week, you're going to sign um, off, meaning you're really going to post to the discussion board for syllabus, telling me you understand the syllabus. Well, I hope you enjoy the course. And if there are questions, I've given you um, ample ways to get in touch with me. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care and good luck.